Hello everybody, how is it going? Is that proper way to say that? Is that proper way to say that? Who knows? Hello makers, welcome back to my channel once again, and today we will be working on a very special project. So far, this is as far as we've gotten into it. Now, this is a 3D model now printed out that I designed. Um, I may, may not, probably will make a video uh, showing how I made this. And what this is, if you can see clearly, we'll put in a close-up shot here. Uh, this is a mold. Well, not really mold. This is a, what's the word of the thing that goes into the mold? I'm not sure. This is, I guess, a replica. I don't know. Um, we're going to put this in some fine casting sand along with this bit of rebar. And this actually came from a longer piece of rebar in a previous video where I was making the solid lead baseball bat. Still working on collecting more lead for that, actually. Uh, so yeah, this is the cutoff from that. And this is gonna be in the sand, just slightly overlapped or touching right here so that when I pour cast iron into the sand, this will be fused to it and we'll have a little handle. And if you can't tell already, this is going to be an ingot mold, cast iron ingot mold for casting copper, aluminum, brass, you name it. Obviously not cast iron because this is gonna, going to be cast iron. The zinc. So yeah, and it's got my name in there, Matt Makes. So yeah, let's uh, let's go do that. But first, let's talk about some math. Now I had to calculate the exact volume of this, and then convert that into volume of cast iron into mass, and that came out to be about two pounds one ounce. So I've got four pounds and two ounces here, because when casting cast iron or melting it, a lot of it gets lost to slag. Uh, it cools down in the crucible pretty fast sometimes, so I'm just gonna melt a ton and then pour the rest into a graphite and get mold if there is any left over. This is from a cast iron sink that I had, and I crushed, I banged it all up, beat it into bits. So yeah, just weighed that out. And a little bit of math on the inside, the volume comes out for copper. Uh, I didn't do the volume for, or I didn't convert it into other metals, but for this, it comes out to about two pounds exactly if I cast this right, and if I did my math right. So it should come out to two pounds per copper ingot I pour in there. So let's hope that works out. And yeah, let's go work on making the sand mold.
iron melts at an extremely high temperature if you somehow were not aware of that. So I have these glasses to help protect my eyes, not only from splashing, but um, it is very bright and it could blind me. I mean, I doubt it, but it still hurts my eyes and it's hard to look at. Plus it helps protect my eyes from the heat. I'm also going to be wearing my face mask, hashtag 2020. And yeah, next time you see me, you'll be seeing the molten iron and then pouring it. It's cooled down enough that I can try and remove it here. Oh, it just almost worked. We were so close. So close. All right, we'll cut off what we have here. And uh, we'll toss more iron in the crucible. We'll finish. Ah, no, wait, we have to make another mold. Darn, okay. All right, we'll figure this out. We will figure this out. Excuse my horribly messy workstation, but this is what we got. Fairly good for the first time ever trying to cast iron. And the issue was I did not have enough iron and then the slag fell in, which is why you can't see the letters too well, because when the slag fell in, it completely deformed the top layer of the sand. So one of the good things about this is, uh, are not the good things, but I guess we could say thankfully. Cast iron. Well, dent when hit with a hammer, but when slag is, it will break. So we can cut these bits of slag, knock those off of here, and collect just the iron. iron after making a new mold of course for the third time now we love doing our job it also took forever to melt which was another contributor to our fail well, not our fail but Another contributor as to why this is such a pain. So yeah, I'll be back soon. All right, so more iron is melting. Mold has been remade. It looks good. Uh, it's bright in there. This is what we got. I've melted almost an entire sink now for this.
Yep. I'm psyched. All right. A few meltdowns later. Oh my goodness. Didn't even mean that pun. A few emotional meltdowns, a few iron meltdowns later. And we are finally here. Don't have the handle welded on yet. I decided I am gonna weld it on. And uh, yeah, right here, we've got a little bit where the sand fell in, but that's all right. The words translated pretty well, not as good as the last one, unfortunately. But a diamond tip Dremel tool, even just hard carbon steel will uh, clean that up well. There's a small hole there. I'll probably weld that up and grind that. Other than that, there's that. And I got to get this video up. So this is going to be the end of part one. I'm going to make this three parts. Part three is actually going to be uh, the 3D modeling and printing and all that. Thank you for watching. Keep on making. And links to the last video, next video, Instagram are uh, going to be in the description. Please like and subscribe, share if you enjoyed watching, and uh, have a good one.